Larry O'Brien Trophy is at stake here this afternoon. The Boston Celtics, proud possessors of 14 NBA championships, can win number 15 in the Los Angeles Forum. They lead this series three games to two, and in stark contrast, the grim, determined Los Angeles Lakers came out with a major problem. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is suffering from what has been described as his most severe migraine headache ever prior to the start of a game. At a pre-game practice session, Abdul-Jabbar was conspicuous by his absence. Pat Riley again stressing that they would have to get inside and help Kareem rebound here this afternoon. But the vital question is, how long can Kareem Abdul-Jabbar go in this game, and how much will he be suffering as it continues to unfold? So it is game six of the NBA World Championship Series coming up live here from the forum. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Brent Musburger, and welcome. And to get a quick update now on the condition of Kareem, let's go down to the floor and Pat O'Brien. Thank you, Brett. The first thing is we just found out just maybe 10 seconds ago that Kareem does not have the migraine now, but earlier he did, and word spread like wildfire through the forum among the fans that Kareem was sick. At that time, Kareem was on the trainer's table. He had an IV in him. He had been throwing up all morning. He had a severe migraine headache, and they had two doctors, including the Rams team doctor and the Lakers doctor, working on him. Now he is fine, we are told. Pat Riley seems calm, and he's going to start him. For how this might affect the game, let's go to the man who will call the game for us this afternoon, Dick Stockton. Dick? Thank you, Pat. I'm here, of course, with my partner, Tom Heinsohn. And Kareem had a headache before game number one. He did not have it when the game started, and he scored 32 points, Tommy. The only time that Kareem scored under double figures in the playoffs in his career, and a terrific career indeed, was two years ago when he played with a migraine headache. So the question is right now, Tom, uh, what are the Lakers like with Kareem at this situation? Well, Pat Riley feels that uh, when he gets into the ball game, the concentration of playing the game usually makes it go away. If he uh, has already shown indications it's gone away, I think it's going to prove very, very fruitful for the Lakers. They need Kareem at his best to beat the Boston Celtics. He has been their inspirational leader on the inside. Without him, they've got big problems. Also, Pat Riley is concerned with Magic Johnson and the work that Dennis Johnson has done defensively on him. Casey Jones in game four has taken away uh, Magic's passing game. Dennis Johnson right now has been doing just an absolutely fantastic job in uh, taking the ball out of Magic's hands. Pat Riley is going to try and free up Magic's ball game. So it's Kareem and Magic, the two big figures for the Lakers in their efforts to tie up the series and send it to a seventh game. Right now, I'm going to send it back upstairs to Brent. Brent. All right, Dick, thank you. The Celtics just one victory away from winning the championship for the Lakers. Not only must they win here this afternoon, but they'd have to win a seventh game in Boston Tuesday night. We are back, and the Los Angeles Lakers are now being introduced to this standing room only crowd that will be here. James Worthy coming out. And here will come the big fella, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Number 32, Urban Magic Johnson. So Kevin Lockery is with me, and of course, Kevin, Riley. the major question is, what can the Lakers do to stop Larry Bird? He started to dominate. Brent, the one thing they have to do to stop Larry Bird is go back to what they did in the first three games. Every time he touches the basketball, double team him. Don't let him beat you. Make somebody else beat you. Let Dennis Johnson, Henderson, Maxwell, a Paris pitcher, will not be Larry Bird. Double team every time he touches it. Easier said than done. <laughs> About time for the tip-off. Let's go back down now to Dick and Tommy. Thank you very much, Brent, and the starting lineups. And they remain the same throughout the series. And that means James Worthy again at forward and Michael Cooper at guard and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar starting at center. The officials... Jake O'Donnell and Jack Madden will work the game, and Hugh Evans will be the alternate. And, of course, in the heat and steam of Boston Garden on Friday night, they needed the alternate official. Here's Kareem, ladies and gentlemen, who a lot of people feel in the Laker camp that the dehydration can affect you up to 36 hours. And perhaps a lot of the migraine problems, Tom, might still result from that steam heat at Boston Garden Friday night. He sure was affected by the pace of the game and the heat on Friday night. The tip controlled by the Lakers. 
Magic Johnson guarded by Dennis Johnson. That's been a big change for the Celtics. That's turned it around. James Worthy misses the first shot. And here come the Celtics for the first time with the ball. Gerald Henderson, number 43, playmaking guard. Dennis Johnson, who's found his scoring skills in the last two games with him. And Larry Bird passing the Parrish, who's fouled. Interestingly enough, Tom, and Larry Bird's tremendous performance and the fact that, of course, he is the heart and soul of the ball club, he only has 14 assists in the series so far, and he is the best passing forward in the game. I think that's a tribute to Michael Cooper and his tenacious defense of trying to stay close to Larry Bird, but it's also had a telling effect on Michael Cooper underneath the basket. They're wearing him out. There's Michael Cooper, who's going to have to play Bird a lot tougher, Pat Riley told us before the game. Personal foul was on Kareem, and Robert Parrott makes both free throws. Lakers always look to run, and Worthy goes to the hoop. And that was Kareem with the tip-in. Inside, Maxwell double team, and a three-second violation called against the Boston Celtics. So the Lakers who need the victory, and Casey Jones is looking for his first NBA championship as a head coach. A little part of the uh, Riley strategy. The basket will count by Magic Johnson. Very evident right now, Pat Riley said that he's going to let Michael Cooper bring the ball up a lot more to free up Magic Johnson as soon as they get over half court. It went right back to Magic. So Magic Johnson going to the hoop, and the foul is on Dennis Johnson. Magic Johnson, who has set all kinds of assist records this season and in postseason. He misses the free throw, and it's still 4-2 L.A. Magic picking up Henderson. Burke coming out, shooting over Cooper. And that's one of the adjustments Pat Riley also said the Lakers have to make. Get on Larry Burke. Try and take away his outside game. If possible, we may even see a matchup change in that department. Cooper going into Kareem. He's got it. When Kareem gets the ball that deep low, forget it. Robert Parrish letting him get that good low post position. Here's Dennis Johnson hitting the outside shot. So Dennis Johnson, who has scored 22 points the last two games. And James Worthy, who has been a sensation throughout the series. L.A. likes to control the pace of the game the first six minutes. If they can get it going quickly up the court, it's in their favor. Johnson is fouled as he goes up with a shot, and right now you have to say the pace is in L.A.'s favor. Very much so. A couple of fast breaks and push-up quicks by the, the Lakers have the tempo of the game going right the way they want it. So Magic Johnson with the first personal foul, and Dennis Johnson comes to the line. He has given Magic problems defensively, and as we said, 22 points in the last two games in this series. He has come alive truly. I tell you, I like the way he's kept his cool after playing all three poor games beginning of the series. That's poise. Ray Melchiori was working on Robert Parrish's eye momentarily, and Parrish seems to be all right. So here's Dennis Johnson, who has been in more postseason playoff games than anyone on the Celtic team, many of them with Seattle. Picking up on a switch, Henderson on Magic Johnson. And a steal by Henderson. Good switching by Boston. Henderson all the way in. 